Michael Faraday, the 18th century physicist, discovered that an electric current is induced in a loop of wire whenever a magnetic field inside the loop changes. This idea was extended a few decades later by James Maxwell, who noted the reverse. A magnetic field is induced whenever and wherever an electric field is changing. A changing electric field generates a changing magnetic field, Hmm. which in turn creates a corresponding change in the electric field, which generates a change in a magnetic field, and so on. Each field generating the other, like two people always trying to get the last word in a conversation. The electric and magnetic fields, they're entangled. So imagine a charged electron vibrating to and fro. The electric field surrounding this vibrating electron undergoes changes in strength. That is, the electric field vibrates in rhythm with the vibrating electron. These changes generate changing magnetic fields that feed back to the changing electric fields. The result is what we call an electromagnetic wave that propagates away from the electron at ultra-high speeds. So, as long as you have an energy source to keep that electron vibrating, those electromagnetic waves will keep propagating outward in all directions. If the frequency of those waves is some 4 to 7 times 10 to the 14th hertz, the wave can tickle the back of your eye, which detects those waves of energy as what we call light. As we discuss in the following chapters, that's what light is. Light is electromagnetic radiation emanating from some vibrating charge, be they vibrating electrons in the sun or vibrating electrons within a light bulb. Huh. Good energy. <laughs>